fellow crocheters. It's Jan with Jack and Jan. Thanks so much for stopping by today. This video is about our city blanket. Now our city blanket pattern, thank you so much for purchasing that. We really appreciate it. Comes in three different sizes. It comes in baby, crib, and afghan size. Today what we're going to do is we're going to do a gauge stitch and we're actually going to combine this with a technique stitch. So we want to get to our 4x4 four four gauge stitch swatch. However, the pattern is for 8 rows. So to get 4 inches across with your eye hook per the pattern, it's 12 12 uh, stitches. So here I chain 13 and I have uh, 12 half double crochet. So now what we're going to do is we're going to do some of this together. We're going to, we're at the end, so we're going to chain two and we're going to turn. And according to the pattern, we're going to do what's, what we're going to call a uh, back loop half double and a front loop ha half double which does create a faux knit stitch. So let's take a look at these stitches and let's see where we're going with this. We have our chain here and this is our first half double. So we're always going to be doing the half double so it's always um, wrap around one time just as you would for a normal half double. Now here's the top of the stitches. You can see the V here. We have several videos on this, but we're going to cover this because this has an added puff stitch to it. So what we want to do is we want to pull this part of the half double stitch forward. So what you're going to do is you're going to find that loop to pull it forward. This is the back loop. So here's the back loop. So you can see it all the way across. And that's what's going to pull this part of the stitch forward to make it look like a knit stitch. So let's just go ahead and do that. This is our back loop faux knit stitch or back loop half double crochet. We'll get this done. And again, this is 12 stitches across. You're going to have to follow the pattern, of course, because the pattern is <laughs> the stitches are quite a bit longer. But this should give you the gauge. A real strong indicator of the gauge. Oh, excuse me. This is not that difficult. It's just a little early for me this morning, so I'm just waking up here. I haven't had all my coffee yet, but as you can see, it's pretty simple. Now, see what the great thing about it is: is that it's pulling it all forward which I love. See, it's forming that ridge, and that's what's so spectacular about this blanket. The combination of these stitches is really quite pretty. It works up very nicely. Okay, so again, we're just doing the back loop, and we're doing that half double crochet. And that little, that the last one is always just a little trickier to find, but we've got it. Okay, see, isn't that nice? And that's your ridge right there. And this is the right side of your blanket. Okay, so now we're going to chain two. And we're going to turn. Okay, and according to the pattern, now we're going to do a front loop again to bring the stitch forward. Okay, when you, when you look for the front loop on the edges, it's always a little tricky to find, but it's there. Okay, so here, here's the top of our previous row. There's the, the top of the previous, previous row, but again, we pulled that forward to make this beautiful faux knit stitch. So now we're gonna pull this, the top part of this stitch forward. We chained two, and now what we're going to do is we're going to go into this front loop. This here, 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 here all the way across. Again, we've got 12 stitches here to make our four to make our four inch width. So let's just go ahead and do this. This part, again, it, it takes a little time to, this first stitch is always just a little bit of a pill, but it's not that bad. You can get it. It's so worth it. 
And then there's the, there's the loop. Just pull it forward. And again, we're working on the wrong side of the blanket. So I just want to keep going. Now see how you're lengthening it? And that's, that's, that's how you know you're doing it right. Well, I'm going to stop here in a second and turn it over and show you what we're doing. See how we're pulling that forward? We're making the same thing. We're just pulling it forward. And that's what we want to do. And that's how we make it into a faux knit stitch. So there's our loop. Pulling it forward. Pulling it forward. All the way across. Then here in a second, when we're done with this row, we're going to look at our gauge. But again, this is not the full pattern, so we have to look at that and see. But I have an idea that it, what it's going to work out to be. So, okay. All right, see? We pulled it forward, so we've got two nice rows of stitches that look like knit stitches. Now on this particular blanket, this part will be finished because of the way this, the top and the bottom edges will be finished. But what you're going to do is you're going to do this, you're going to do the faux knit around at the end and that's in the pattern so that it all the, all the ends are finished with a nice look to them. Okay, so we've done our, we've done our back loop, we've done our front loop, now we're going to do a back loop again and let's see where we're at here we're at a little over an inch so almost an inch and a half but not quite and we've done two rows so we're just going to repeat and we're going to do our back loop half double crochet that creates that faux knit stitch right into that back loop. There we go. Just keep going. See, it's pulling it forward really nicely. And I do think that you're going to be so happy with the end results of this blanket. I really, really do. It's so pretty. Let's get that last loop in there. Double crochet or double or chain two. And see, now we've got three. And that's our, that's our half and we are at two inches. So this is going to be, if it was just this, it would be six, six rows in order to get to our, our four inches. Excuse me, I'm sorry, what am I saying? It's, again, it's early and I apologize for that. It would be, it would be eight rows to get to the four inches. So, but we're not, we're not there yet. We're going to do another row of front loop, half double. And again, that first one is just, just a little difficult to find, but it's, again, it's not that hard. Okay, so we're going to do our front loop. Double. I 
again this is this is a pretty easy stitch to master I don't think you'll have trouble with it once you have an understanding of it once you've done a couple rows it's real easy you just want to make sure that you don't drop any stitches though so make sure that you've got that okay now we're just a little over two inches so we've done one two three we've done four rows okay all right so now for our pattern what we want to do is i want to show you the puff stitch so that you can see how that is integrated into the pattern and we'll get that going and actually we've done five rows because the foundation is just a row of half double so I correct myself in saying that we've done five rows and again we're just a little over we're just a little over two inches right now now the pattern calls for the puff stitch and the puff stitch is really easy this is just nothing you can you're gonna love doing this it's it's a lot of fun and what we're going to do is we're just going to go with three half double. This is just regular half double now. And it, again, it's in the pattern at jackandjan.com for the city blanket. So we've got three half doubles here. And now we're going to do our puff stitch. So we're going to wrap around one and we're going to go in, pull through. Now we've got three loops. Wrap around two, go in, pull through. Now we've got one, two, three, four, five, five loops. Wrap around, go in, pull through. That's three, wrap around, go in, pull through. That's four, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So actually we've done that. We've done that five times, and that's the stitch. So what we're going to do is we're just going to take that one stitch, and we're going to pull it through and do a slip stitch okay now we're gonna go into this and do our half double here one two three and let's do the puff stitch again one two three four and there's a pictorial um, in the in the pattern as well. And so we'll just go to the end. Oh, I have a knot here. Excuse me, I'm sorry about that. But it happens. This is live and it pull out the yarn and that's the way it goes. <laughs> so there's where we're at. So we're still at, we're four across, which is the stitches that we've talked about, the 12. And now we're almost, we're at one, two, three, we're almost at three here. So we're going to do another row of these puffs, two, three, or excuse me, two, I'm sorry. And there's our puff, three, excuse me. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, ten. there we go. There's our puff. 
and what we always want to do is we always want to make sure that we skip that chain stitch on the top that slip stitch so we're going to skip that and now we're just going to go right into our half double oh I'm sorry I skipped two stitches that's what I wanted to talk about okay here we were in the half double here this is the the stitch that joins the puff stitch the slip stitch so now we're going to go right into the stitch and we're going to continue on two, three, and we're going to do another puffer. So that's one, wrap it around, two, three, five. Okay, there we go. Okay, and there's that joining stitch right there. We want to skip that and we want to just half double. Now the puff stitches should add some height. So we're going to see where we're at right now with this so that we can get our gauge. Okay, that's what I thought. So we have four rows of the half double plus the foundation chain, so that's five, and then we've got two rows of the of the puff stitch and half double combination, and that gives us our four by four gauge. So we have the foundation row, the four rows, and then the two rows, so that's actually seven total rows. And the pattern continues on in the puff stitch, and then of course, our beautiful faux knitted stitch. Thank you so much for stopping by. Again, there's a photo tutorial as well with all this information in the City Blanket Jack and Jan pattern. Thank you so much and happy crocheting.